started the business about 18 months ago. Um, we started because Nadine had this great idea that we needed to come up with a more sustainable way to help the kids get into their wetsuits. Um, they were using plastic bags. We started to look for other ways and I honestly wouldn't have thought of a sale material but Lucy said we've got to use sale materials and she went to one of our local sale makers in just down here in Brookvale and came up with using this fantastic spinnaker cloth, which is super strong and it doesn't break. By working with these cell companies on the northern beaches, we're actually collecting waste. So we collect the waste, we hand cut everything, and um, we're making it into an alternative for plastic bags, which is fantastic. And I think it's really important when we're talking about waste or any matter that everybody as an individual can make a difference. I've been in climate change from when climate change was being debated and people were saying it wasn't real. And I worked for an organisation where, you know, we worked with really large companies and we were trying to help them understand how saving energy could make a difference. So I've been there at the beginning when people went, oh, this is, a, this is not true, this is not worth it. And I'd be trying to convince our very, very large companies that, yes, yeah, saving energy is worth it. And so I knew that when we started SurfSock, we were probably a little bit too early. The understanding of plastic pollution and what it was doing to the world was really not there yet. But we've seen it come a long way. We've seen the surfing community change a lot and people now are, they're really understanding it and they're making changes, which is great. So it might seem like a really small step, but I think every step is the right one. So we started making surf sock for that reason. And so we were working away on our great idea and we realised that if we were to really take it anywhere, we were going to need a capital injection. We looked online and found a great program called Dream Starter, which is run by ING. And to our great surprise and delight, we were chosen out of a th apparently a thousand applications. So we had 20 grand to get us off my back veranda. Uh, where we had been cutting and sewing. And so we started making our um, like first surf socks that looked a little bit like this. You know, we sort of thought it was a good idea maybe to have them rounded to help them get into um, a wetsuit. But realised that it was really unnecessary to go to all that trouble. And we could just quick, we could easily make them rectangular. They're so soft and so slippery. Um, it's just uh, much easier to make them like this and, and just as effective. So it's just fantastic that we have these sale companies who do an amazing job actually cutting their sales, but there's always going to be leftover material. So we work with Dimensions Polyant in Brookvale and Scott Sales down here in Manly Vale and Contender in Mona Vale. And they're so thrilled to be able to take the waste and to give it to us. It really means a lot to them. They even have boxes they put aside so we can go in and collect that waste material. So they're part of the story. And it's great that we can work with all these local businesses and support each other and you know everyone can do their bit to support Australian manufacturing and to hopefully prevent some plastic pollution along the way. But you know that, that expression that like you know I don't know all sort of baby steps or you know like yeah. we, 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 all, we all need to do our little bit and together we can make a difference on our own we can't make a difference but if we all you know do our little bit and this is our little bit and um, yeah if that is something that people can see by looking at our business, well, that's really cool.